Welcome to Club Academia, where curiosity meets knowledge. Today, we're diving into some intriguing questions. What exactly is AI? What is generative AI? And how does it differ from other types? And have you heard of ChatGPT? Why is it named that way? And what makes it so special? What is the Turing test? And why is passing the Turing test the holy grail of AI? If you're curious about how these technologies are reshaping our world, stick around, this journey is going to be fascinating. What is AI? What is artificial intelligence? At its core, AI refers to the simulation of human intelligence in machines programmed to think and learn like humans. These systems can analyze data, recognize patterns, and make decisions based on the information they process. Most AI today is known as narrow AI designed to perform specific tasks like facial recognition, language translation, or even playing chess. General AI, which would possess the ability to understand and reason across a broad range of tasks like a human, is still a theoretical concept. What is generative AI? Now, let's talk about generative AI. This is a subset of AI that focuses on creating new content. Rather than just analyzing data, Generative AI can produce text, images, music, and even videos. It does this by learning patterns from existing data and using that knowledge to generate new outputs. One popular example of generative AI is OpenAI's Dall E, which creates images from textual descriptions. Imagine typing a cat wearing a spacesuit and getting a unique image generated just for you. Generative AI is revolutionizing creative fields and opening up new possibilities. What is ChatGPT? So, where does ChatGPT fit into all of this? ChatGPT is a specific implementation of generative AI developed by OpenAI. It's designed to understand and generate human-like text based on the prompts it receives. This means you can have conversations with it, ask questions, or even get assistance with writing and brainstorming. What makes ChatGPT special is its ability to engage in contextually aware conversations, making it feel more like chatting with a person than a machine. It's built on a model called GPT, which stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. Why is it called ChatGPT? Now let's break down the name ChatGPT. The chat part is straightforward. It refers to its primary function, engaging in conversational dialogue. But what about GPT? Here's what each part means. The letter G in ChatGPT stands for generative. It creates new content, such as responses in a conversation. The letter P in ChatGPT stands for pre-trained. ChatGPT has been trained on a vast amount of text data before it's fine-tuned for specific tasks. This pre-training allows it to understand language patterns and context. The letter T in ChatGPT stands for transformer. This refers to the architecture of the neural network it uses which is particularly effective for processing language. Now, let's delve into a fascinating concept known as the Turing test, proposed by the British mathematician and computer scientist Alan Turing in 1950. This test is designed to measure a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior equivalent to, or indistinguishable from, that of a human. In a typical Turing test scenario, a human evaluator engages in a text-based conversation with both a machine and another human without knowing which is which. If the evaluator cannot reliably tell the machine from the human, the machine is said to have passed the Turing test. Why is passing the Turing test the holy grail of AI? Passing the Turing test is often considered the holy grail of AI for several reasons. Firstly, it signifies that a machine can effectively mimic human conversation showcasing a level of understanding and responsiveness that feels genuinely intelligent. Secondly, achieving this milestone would imply that AI has advanced to a point where it can engage in meaningful interactions, opening doors to countless applications, from customer service to creative writing and beyond. However, it's important to note that passing the Turing test doesn't necessarily mean the AI possesses true understanding or consciousness. It simply indicates that it can replicate human-like responses convincingly. Applications of ChatGPT So, what can you actually do with ChatGPT? The applications are vast. From customer support and tutoring to content creation and creative writing, the possibilities are endless. As we've explored today, AI, generative AI, and ChatGPT represent fascinating advancements in technology. They're reshaping our interactions with machines and opening up new avenues for creativity and productivity.
Remember, the future of AI is not just about what it can do, but how we choose to use it. Let's embrace this technology responsibly and harness its potential for the betterment of society. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more intriguing content from Club Academia. What questions do you have about AI? Drop them in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. Check out our playlist which dives deep into complex and intriguing concepts surrounding AI, generative AI, computer science, algorithms, software technology, and much more. We break down these intricate subjects into bite-sized pieces, making them easy to understand, all in under 10 minutes. Whether you're a beginner, looking to learn, or a techie wanting to stay updated, we've got something for everyone. Stay curious, and keep questioning. Until next time, let's continue exploring the wonders of science and technology together at Club Academia.